Mike with Gobles Mobile Detailing. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I clean my microfiber, my fiber cloth, excuse me. So the first thing I do, I'm going to show you is uh, the detergent I use. I get it from Walmart. It's all-in-one stain lifters, free and clear. So this has no perfumes or dyes. So that's, that's the first thing you need to get is good detergent. And the detergent you want is you don't want no powder or no detergent has a smell or anything like that. Just use the non-scented, this basic, basic detergent. This stuff, I've been using this stuff for about two years, almost three years. It's good stuff. I think at Walmart it's like $4.95 for a gallon. So, uh, so the first thing I do is on my microfibers, I split them all up. I split my, uh, so here I'll show you, I split my window towels. So all my all my waffle weaves I get from my high tech chemical guy, I wash them separate. I never wash my I never wash my window towels with my wax towels. Because when you end up doing that, washing your window towels with your wax towels, you will go you will get uh, like wax streaks on your windows when you're trying to clean your windows from all the wax particles and stuff that come from the wax rags. So the first thing I did first thing I already did I wash my wax rags. A couple days ago, I'll like show you right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the dryer. I'll show you here. Sorry guys, a little mess. I've been I'm throwing. So what I'm gonna do. Go ahead. The first thing I do, I'm gonna get my wax rag. All right. So I, uh, I got all my uh, wax rags, the, like any exterior rags. So like I said, I keep them separate. Exterior rags, window towels, then interior towels. So right here, I got all my interior. So the first thing I'm gonna do, like I always clean, I'm gonna put my window towels in first. So I'll put all my uh, waffle weave and window towels all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash them, and put them bad boys in there. So it's, a, it's like a medium load. So on a medium load, it says regular load. You go to a one, so there's little dots. So you just use like a quarter fill of your detergent. Is that much on my window towels? Because they're not, like I said, they're not very dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there. And this stuff usually lasts me about, let's see, this detergent lasts me at least like three or four weeks. Like I said, and I clean towels every Friday at work and on the weekends when I'm doing my own mobile detailing business. And for and what and what I put my set my towels on when I do cleaning. It's a little dusty back here, Carter. did. So what I do is I set my uh, so my, my washer. I set it on cold. Put it on 15. And I'll let this rinse and go off. And I'll put that in the dryer. And I set my dryer my towels for my uh, my towels that's, that's drying. So when I'm always when I'm always doing my loads, I'll have one drying and one washing. As, as soon as this one is done with washing, which takes about 15 minutes, I'll, and these will be dry, I'll take those out and flip and switch them up. So, so when I'm drying my towels, I don't put them on heat. That's one thing you don't want to do. I'll put them on low heat, which is air fluff heat off. And I'll put them on 50 minutes and let it dry. You never want to put your towels on high heat because it will mess up the microfibers and stuff like that. And I always wash them on cold. That's one thing I always do, wash them on cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these finished up and I'll be back with the next look. So here's my uh, edgeless exterior towels for the paint, wax and applying, spray wax, anything like that. So I got it all cleaned out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll switch out my rags from the washer to the dryer. So here's all my window towels. Like I said, you want to make sure you get that lint out, because especially on these window towels, you definitely don't want to have lint when you're doing your towels. The next thing I'm going to do is my last load of interior towels and the other towel like that for the right here. I got them all organized, so I'm going to throw all these in with one load and get those taken care of. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw, uh, throw these bad boys in there. So they're pretty much um, between each, every different towel you use, you just want to make sure you change up the loads. You don't want to, 
you don't want to use put all your window tiles and paint tiles and exterior tiles or interior tiles in with each other. And you will have a problem with doing that. You just want to make sure you keep them all separate while washing. And like I said, in between each load, if they have the lint carton. So usually like on the interior towel, I put this all on load. So I'll get one nice size load. And for my nice size load, I'll use a whole cap full and that'll be good. I'm still running on cold water. Okay, pour that bad boy in there. Clean. I'll do that. So then the last thing I do is before I put it in the video, I'll start up put it on 15. It's on let's put water leather high and cold. And start that bad boy. Okay. And next thing, on low, put it on, like, remember, you don't want to put it on high heat. Come on, put it on low heat. Bad boy's on. So that's the way I clean my towels, my carpet towels. And I'm, and then, the way, if you can do it this way, your towels will last, um, last a lot longer. Instead of putting everything in at one time. And, and then, when, like I said, when you're doing your window towel, you have to worry about streaking or anything like that, because you won't have wax in between the towels, you know what I mean? You, you don't want to dirty it. You won't have dirty interior towels mixed in with your paint towels, your window towels. So pretty much I do it three loads, like I said, three different loads. Windows, interior, exterior. Alright guys, that's today's video. So remember, like and subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'll be back with another video. Peace.